Hello and welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make a card video. Uh, perfect timing today. The uh, weather is super rainy outside and I got a new phone. And so I thought let's uh, test it out and give it a whirl. So what we're going to make today is the Anna Griffin Birdhouse Easel Card Die. And uh, this is what we're going to be using. And look at all those fun little examples they give you. This is the die set. Um, it has the card base and all the fun little layering pieces. Uh, the paper we're going to use today is the uh, Texture Brew uh, Paper Pad Pack from Little Birdie Crafts. comes in 12 sheets, 12 designs. And this is actually a really nice uh, paper set. It's a 250 GSM, so ridiculously like thick and solid. Really nice uh, for making these type of easel cards. Um, what I picked out already, because um, I haven't <laughs> done a card for a minute, <laughs> I thought, hmm, I probably ought to get my wits about me. <laughs> so I picked out this uh, burlap one, this really beautiful... Uh, turquoisey teal wood one with the smaller la uh, laps or lats lats slats slats the smaller slats in it and then this uh thicker slatted one that's a natural wood tone color and i uh, thought we could do something with these and uh then uh what i also got for some accent pieces was i picked out this uh Recollections from Michael's, a rose gold foil pack. Thought we could do a few of um, little accent pieces with this. And um, and then what I was going to do was grab some little uh, pink flowers and some yellow cardstock and do the little birdie in yellow possibly and add some pink flowers to it. So let's get started. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take this uh, card base die. I'm actually going to cut that out of this. Um, I'm also going to cut this layering piece out of that. Uh, then what I want to do is I want to take and cut this. I haven't popped any of these other ones off. I was just trying to see what size of cardstock I would need for the base and stuff. And if it would all fit, you know. So these are 12 by 12 sheets. And so look how nice that fits. That fits really good. And you can still get a bunch more out of there. So we're going to do that. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take this uh, die and I want to cut that out of here. And then, then what I want to do is I'm going to take this die here and I'm going to cut it out of the burlap. And then I'm also going to take, oh, so then what I want to do is I want to take these pieces here. I didn't even see if you guys are in. Oh shoot. Sorry about that. Hopefully it's in frame. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, yeah, the things you forget if you haven't uh, filmed in a while, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, I want to take these pieces and I want to grab a, I want to grab out a piece of ugh. the pack's open too. <laughs> uh. I have to get my paper pulling fingers ugh, worked up. And uh, I want to cut these out of this rose gold here. And But I also want to take the top. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to take the top like this and cut it, you know, like that. And then uh, I want to find a circle because I was thinking about uh, if I if I pop rose gold on these two pieces here. I'm still going to need something to draw this color up to the top. And so I thought that would actually be a really nice accent piece on top of the burlap. So, uh, but it's, it's also supposed to mimic, you know, like a rounded, um, birdhouse as well. So I'm going to take a circle, a scallop circle die after I cut this off, probably about to the second row there, and then use the rounded scallop circle die and make that rounded there. Um, is I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do. I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, because I think I only want it to be about that that far down. Probably even only about that far down, actually. I'll probably cut it here on this. And then do the rounded, probably only do the first, the bottom of the first one, probably. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, and that'll actually be really pretty with all the little accent details that it embosses in there. 
Um, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this little birdie out in yellow, some yellow cardstock, and which I haven't pulled, but I'll pull that. It's going to be a pale yellow, probably a Recollections. Oh, or a Sizzix textured, probably a Sizzix textured one is what I'll do for this. And um, I think that is going to be about it. So let me get this stuff cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got my pieces cut out here. Um, uh, when I was putting this together, though, um, you know, kind of layering it up to see what it was going to look like, um, I wasn't that big of a fan of uh, this white part necessarily, uh, how that folds up. And I was like, eh, I'm not a big fan. So um, I was asking John, hey, what do you think? Does it look that bad? And he was like, well, if you don't like it, why don't you just layer some green on it and make it look like it's a tree. <laughs> I thought that's actually a really good idea. So I cut another piece that I had. It's um this is out of the Posey paper pack. Um I think I got this from Recollections years ago. Um so it's not a recent pad, but um that's that's what I decided to go with. And so I'm actually going to glue all of this together. Um, I did, I was actually thinking about inking this stuff up though. Um, I didn't pull any green for that. Um, I still, I think I'm still going to do that though. I, I really want these pieces inked up. Um, I was thinking it would actually look really nice if they were, oh yeah, look it. Yeah, we're going to ink these up. And this is a distress, uh, I use this for the brown distress colors. And so this is just what's on the brush, actually. And, um, and I wasn't sure about doing this. Maybe some... Um, let's do some... Uh, yeah, see? Look how pretty that is. I really like that detail on the edge. I think that'll be prettier. Uh, when we layer it up. I was thinking about doing some white distressing on that. And seeing what it looked like on there. And and I got out some uh, Savage Patina. And thought, let's see what that looks like too. Um, yeah. It doesn't actually have to be all that dark. And this will lighten up too as it dries. And I was thinking some for the burlap piece, going with a little bit darker, uh, like the uh, ground espresso or something. So I like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty, and that'll make that pop on that wood background. Um, let's see. Let's but let's do some ground espresso for this, and then we'll see what we end up doing for that. Maybe I could just I don't know edge it or something. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that enhances it quite a bit. Make makes that edge pop. Oh, you're not really gonna see that because uh, that's gonna be covered up with the um, rose gold piece. Okay, but I think that does look better. Oh yeah, that looks that looks better. So now, what do we want to do there? I was trying to get it to where my little birdie pops because it's a little bit, I think, I don't know. It needs something else. And if that's like that, and then we have all of our little rose gold features, I'm kind of thinking I want to distress this with just a touch of, let's just see what it looks like. Because I can, I can't cut it. That's the only piece I have. What do we think about this? Uh, I think I think I want to go for it. All right, here goes nothing, guys. What if we just do a little? We don't have to get crazy with it. Just a little. And the the thing we have to think about is this here is covered up and this is covered up. So our goal is just this piece here. And I think. 
that is good enough. And this is the um, Stamps of Life uh, Color Box Powdered Sugar. And so then I think I want to take the um, Savage Patina. Do I love that? Oh, I think I love that. And I'm just going to go where you would actually see that on the edge right there. And I think, I think our little birdie will pop pretty good with that. Um, okay, so let's layer everything up and see what that looks like now. Yeah, hey, I think this is going to be swell. So let's, um, I'm not going to go for dimension, I'm going for flat, so it makes it easy to mail. Hmm. See? There we go. Oh, come on, little buddy. There. It's just paper, we don't have to really get crazy with the glue or anything. Whoa. Oh yeah, that looks so much better with the highlight on the outside. Oh yeah, I'm stoked. I wasn't sure what it was going to be. <laughs> you kind of get a bit nervous, especially when you only have one sheet. <laughs> oh, I like it. Okay, so now... This would be probably actually more fun if it did have the dimension, but it also makes it a little bit harder to, to pop in the mail. There, I think that looks cool. I think I like that. Okay, so now what do we need? We need, uh, let's see, we need this piece here. Oh, look how pretty! Okay, so let's just go ahead and glue these guys on. I'm not a big fan of using glue on the um, foil, but um, I think that's my best recourse and uh, to make it you know stick very well um i was using adhesive before but i was noticing that it wasn't it was having a propensity to come off so it was like yeah i think we'll just stick with the glue i don't have to worry about it coming apart in the mail oops oops oh don't do that oh yeah look how pretty that is that's awesome And primarily, I don't like using it because the um, you actually see it. And I kept the little scallop pieces um, included in there because those technically pop out of uh, those little centers. But I, I didn't want it to them to be popped out. I wanted it to be solid. Oh yeah, look how cool that is! Oh, that looks so pretty. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, and then I was thinking this should be burlap. Yeah, I like that. We need to find a flower for the center. Uh, okay. Oh, I might end up... Oh, no, no. Popping up my little bird, though. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Oh, that's super nice. Um, oh, I did want to put a... Let's see what gilding polish looks like on this. I could always remake it. And this is the um, Pearl Luster gilding polish is what that is. But let's... Oh, that looks great. Oh, yeah, that looks fun. It gives it a little shimmer. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so then we can put our little birdie over here. I 
Maybe like that. Um, let's see, we need some flowers. Oh, wait, we also have to put our card together. Um... Uh, I'm gonna glue this on and then trim that uh, tab off uh, at the top. Okay, I think I like that. You're not gonna see a lot of this but you will see some so I think I'm a big fan of chopping this off oops yeah that looks cool okay big fan big fan I like that oops okay let's see so we want this centered up. Okay, so we're just going to put glue on this tab here. I need to make sure that, you know, folds over and all. So I'm going to just put it on the tab. Not worry about anywhere else. Let's line this up we think we want this that looks pretty good there I think I think that looks pretty good you just want to make sure that you don't get glue down there otherwise it'll stick and uh, won't be good for anything and then you want to make sure you don't get glue, you know, outside there, because then that'll stick. But I think we are golden. I think we like that. Okay, now I just got to get some flowers and a little sentiment, a thing for the inside. Okay, let me find some other stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I got out some of these um, Anna Griffin China Cabinet Floral Stickers. And I found... Uh, in there, I found these little guys, um, and I kind of arranged them, you know, on the sides. I did cut off uh, these. I trimmed them and then cut off one of the flowers to go in the center there. And so I thought that would be uh, really fun to have these on there. And then I found um, some mini sentiment stickers. Um, I used the oval one that says, you are you are so thoughtful. And then um, this, this is one of the... Um, this is out of the rose gold, and it is from the, um, whoa, she uses these fancy words, these Anna Griffin, um, in cut and emboss folders, um, there it is, Car cartoche, cartoche, maybe it's French or something, um, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's, that's what I used is these, and then I used, um, uh, this one right here to give it a like a, a bit of a lacy a uh, look and I thought we could pop this up on some thick dimensionals and then that would be our card stopper and I thought that be oh and then I was gonna add uh, a couple of flowers on the inside and um, thought that would probably actually look pretty really pretty that way so let me uh, just adhere these last few embellishments down um, to our card here and we are going to be done let's see maybe like so um, we'll put this one down here um, oh. yeah we want it to be above though I'm going to go right about there yeah that's oh I didn't I didn't actually, I was waiting for this to actually dry before I folded it. You know, like so. Oh yeah, that looks cute. That looks super cute. Love that. Love that a lot. Okay. 
So let's, okay, we got that. So let's glue this little guy down. I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, look how cute. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so then let's pop this little one down here. Yeah, right about there. Then we'll pop our little birdie in. Yeah. I think about there. That looks good, so I'm just going to put glue on the bottom of it. Right about so. And just remember, it is only paper. We are not adhering the world together. It doesn't have to be crazy. There's a little glue back there. I probably actually should have put a, a, actually I should actually pop that back up and actually I'm gonna put it on um, a, uh, oh, these. <laughs> what are these called again? <laughs> uh, one of these little um, dimensionals. <laughs> actually to have its little head pop up. Oh, maybe I should have. Yeah, there we go. And then there, 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 there. Now that, okay, cool. And then let's go ahead and, oh, Yeah, but I only put it in, yeah, let's do that. And keep it on the inside like that. And then, but should I actually cut that one off just a little bit? Cause then you could see the bird better on the background. I think I'm gonna trim that. Because I think I could just technically go like like that. I think I want to just do that. And so let's see where we can actually put the glue. Can go there. And then let's see on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's... And then I'll just pop a little bit of glue behind that flower there. Uh, don't worry about that because it'll dry clear. It'll be fine. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I think I like that better because you can see the little bird better. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, cool. All right. And now what we got to do is, oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay. And then we'll use that on the inside. That'll be fine. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pop this on the inside. And this is definitely going to need dimensionals because this is what's going to hold up our card. Uh, we we'll need to make sure that is like centered and everything. Yeah, that looks pretty good, huh? I like it. Okay, so let's see about, uh, let's see, we need some pretty puffy ones. And I think the big ones are the puffiest in this. These are the Anna Griffin assortment. Uh, I don't need too many. And then I got some of these flowers too. Oh yeah, let's see. That looks pretty good. So then we can actually add that right there. What do we think? Actually, the higher it goes, the more you see when it's, you know, standing up and all. Oh, probably ought to center that as well. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, see, look how pretty that is. Okay, now we can add some little flowers around it. Huh. I didn't I don't really want them to stick out though. Um as much as I like that one there, it sticks out too much. Cause then you see it oh, does it matter if you see it behind? Oh, it probably doesn't matter if you see it behind. That's pretty fun. Um That's actually pretty fun. We could do a little bit like that. We'll add that one there can add oh <laughs> I 
That's another piece. Well, what if we actually do that? Oh, hey, hey, there we go. And then maybe these can pop out somewhere. Oh, yeah, that'll work. And uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll do a little something like that. Hey, that works. That I think that looks cool. Hey, what do you guys think? Hey, right? What do you think? Oh, gosh, I hope you've been in frame. I haven't done this in forever. Oh, perfect, Nugan. Hopefully, hopefully it was in frame. Sorry if it's not. I'm out of practice. <laughs> right? Okay. How cute is that, right? Oh, that's cute. Add that. And then they're in. Then I don't have to worry about them. They're in. Yeah, that's cute. That is so cute. Right? Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Yeah, see? It's fun to add all these little pieces you cut off back in. Um, it just adds that much more, you know? Yeah, okay. I think that looks pretty darn adorable. Okay, what do you guys think? There it is. There's my card. I think that is pretty neat. So that's what it looks like um, as a whole. Where are you? That's what it looks like as a whole. And um, I think that's pretty darn fun. And then, uh, and that's what it looks like when it's opened. You do have a little space at the top there and at the bottom a little bit to write uh, if you wanted to. And, um, yeah, I think this came out super cute and, uh, definitely a win for sure. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm big fan, big fan. I like it. Let me know what you guys think of the card down in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.